Hello my dear students please subscribe our youtube channel for more free video lectures and click on bell button for notifications and visit our website to purchase full course hi friends welcome back to new session see in the last session we started no load test on induction motor we explained how we have to find out the constant loss of and we explained how we have to find the shunt branch parameter okay and we explained how we have to separate iron losses sorry how we have to separate the constant losses as iron losses and the mechanic losses so for separating uh, constant loss as iron loss and mechanic losses what we what we did there we we maintained v by f ratio not equal to constant not equal to constant okay v by f not equal to constant we maintained that to observe clearly we just maintained frequency constant and uh, we are changing uh, voltage that to we are reducing we are reducing voltage a reducing voltage so at that time we got on some relations wi proportional to v square please try to refer last session uh, notes if you have some idea wi proportional to v square mechanic loss equals to constant what is the other name for mechanic losses friction comma windage loss remains constant okay so this we explained now we will continue to our uh, previous session before that before that please try to see your classroom workbook question number 28 question number 28 question number 28 which was asked in the gate 2003 question number uh, 28 asked in gate 2003 2003 what is that question no load test on a three phase induction motor was conducted at different supply voltages and a plot of input power versus voltage was drawn see input power or constant losses versus voltage was drawn just drawn okay was drawn this curve has is this curve was extrapolated to intersect the y axis the curve which is extrapolated at y axis okay this intersection point yields what friction comma windage losses so so that is the answer so option d is the answer for this question option d is the answer for this question that clear very simple thing so <coughs> right next let us continue our previous session let us continue our previous session see here the thing is in this session what we are going to explain is very simple thing so we are going to have some deviations we are going to explain some deviations here deviations deviations in this sense what let me explain we maintained v by f not equal to constant that okay agreed because uh, we maintain v by f constant uh, v by f not equal constant for separating uh, uh, iron uh, constant loss as wa and mechanic loss so v by f not equal to constant that is okay but here question is in first case what we did uh, we maintained frequency constant like this we maintained frequency constant very good and what we did voltage we reduced voltage we reduced voltage that is what suppose something suppose if you maintain voltage constant voltage constant and if you reduce frequency if you reduce frequency so between these two things i'm just comparing and i'm just going to explain some points here okay so it's very important please try to follow clearly 
So in both cases, V by F not equal constant, V by F not equal constant only. Here voltage reduce frequency constant. Here frequency reduce voltage constant. Let us see. So first question here. Pi R, you know, relation pi R proportional to V by F. That everybody knows that. And uh, here I'm asking I mu, you know, and power factor. I mean, in right, I can say the normal power factor, whatever. Okay, I can say simply power factor. Okay, power factor. Power factor. <coughs> Next. W I means what? Iron losses. Next, I W. Next, I not. Next, okay. Next, let us see. <coughs> okay, uh, constant losses. I guess I, I so you tell I, I not know. Tell me immediately. No load stator copper losses. No load stator copper losses. Next, constant losses. Before explaining constant losses, you tell me first mechanic losses here. Mechanic losses. Next, you can go for constant losses. Next, you'll go for watt meter reading. What is that? Watt meter reading. Next, TST. Okay. Okay, this is not there. I'll write here. Next, TST. Next to max. So these parameters, how they are varying here, I should uh, okay, we should understand. Similarly, same thing uh, parameters here also. How pi r proportional v by f, how it is varying, how i mu, how power factor, how w i, how i w, how i naught is varying. How no load stator copper losses? How mechanical loss are varying? How constant loss are varying? How watt meter reading W naught is varying? So similarly, how uh, you know TST is varying? How T max is varying? Very simple things when I'm asking. So please try to answer this. If you explain these questions, sir. Uh, so you can answer any question from a no-load test of your index motor. You tell me now. First, I just maintained, first let me explain these things, then I'll come to this question. I just maintained frequency constant. And we reduced what? Voltage. So what will happen to pi r? Reduce. So requirement of i mu also what? Reduce. See, if pi r, if flux increases for, uh, uh, meeting that amount of flux, requirement of I mu magnetizing current will be more. But now, flux is reduced, requirement of your I mu will reduce. Whenever I mu is reduced, what will happen to power factor? Common sense, we explained already in transformer. So, if I mu is reduced, power factor will increase. Now, before uh, telling this one, so what about iron loss? Iron loss means you are having WH is there, W E is there. Whenever V by F is not equal to constant, you know double H proportional to V power 1.6 by F power 0 0.6 and W proportional to what? V square. Now tell me. So, since frequency in this case, I just maintained constant, constant, constant. Okay. We are reducing voltage, right? Voltage reduced. So WS will reduce, reducing voltage, W will reduce, so overall WI will reduce. And IW, IW means what? I already told you, IW is used to represent iron loss. If iron loss is less, simply I can say IW also will be less. If I mu is less, IW is less, what about I naught? I naught means what? Square root of? I mu square plus I w square. So I naught also will reduce. So no load shutter couple loss. What is the formula for no load shutter couple losses? 3 I naught uh, phase square into R1. 
If I not is reduced, what will happen? No, no, shutter capital also will reduce. Will reduce. What would mechanic class? Mechanic class depends on what speed. So frequency constant here. So obviously it depends on speed. So mechanics depends on speed, depends on frequency. If they are constant, what about mechanic classes? Constant. That's why in our graph also we got a constant graph, mechanic classes. Hmm? Next, what about constant losses? See guys, constant losses means constant is what? Constant loss equals to what? Please tell me. Constant loss equals to what I am saying. Iron losses plus mechanical losses. Tell me here iron losses are reduced. Const mechanic loss are constant. Mechanical loss are what I can say constant. So, what will happen to your uh, constant losses will reduce? Reduce. Okay. Reduce in this sense, what I am saying, comparing with this, these are the variations. Now, what about watt meter reading? Tell me what meter reading is what? W naught reading. Please try to refer notes. Okay. Previous session. W naught is equal to what? Constant losses. Plus what? No load state or copper loss. No load state or copper losses. So this constant loss are constant. It is clearly explained here. No load state or copper loss are reduced here. These are reduced and these are constant. So obviously, what my trading will reduce. Is that clear? Now, what about uh, TST? See guys, you might have, please try to refer torque equation topic, there I told you TST in terms of voltage and frequency, they told TST proportional B square by F cube I told, please try to refer nodes, B square by F cube, B square by F cube, T max also proportional to B square by F square, these two relations I told already in your notes, please try to refer that. So now, since frequency is a constant here, this is constant. And here constant. Okay. And you are reducing voltage. Voltage reduced. So TST will reduce. Voltage reduced. TST max will reduce. So these are the variations of TST and T max in this case. Same thing I am asking when compared to this, what are the variations here? Just tell me. So, please, I think you can tell answer. In this case, frequency constant, sorry, in this case, voltage is constant. Whenever voltage is constant, we are reducing frequency, right? What will happen to pi r? Increase. If requirement of pi r increases, requirement of uh, pi r increases, definitely requirement of your magnetizing current uh, also will increase. When our IMU increases, what will, what will happen to your uh, power factor will uh, reduce. And what about iron losses as usual? Double H proportion what I said here. V4 1.6 by F4 0.6. WE proportion what I said? V square. Now here voltage constant. Here also voltage constant. But you are reducing frequency. So what will happen to WH will increase. Though WE constant, since WH is increasing, I can say WE is increasing. As I told you, iron IW is the current used to represent your iron losses. IW also increase. Whenever IMU and IW increases, I naught square of IMU is plus IW square will increase. No run set a couple of formula. 3 I naught phase square R1. When our I naught is more, so what about no set couple loss also will increase. What about mechanic losses? Tell me, mechanic loss depends on what I can say speed, that is frequency. Your frequency reducing, so mechanic loss will reduce. What about constant losses? You know, constant equals to WI plus mechanic losses. So, use, I mean, what about WI value? Here it told uh, increases. What you told mechanic losses here reduces. Observe clearly. 
constant loss is equals to iron loss plus mechanic losses. Here you told mechanic losses are reducing. This one is reducing in this case. Iron loss are increasing. This is increasing, reducing. What will happen to your constant loss? Is approximately constant. So constant loss is equals to Wi plus mechanical losses. So mechanical losses are reducing. Iron loss are increasing. So you can take the constant loss approximately constant, 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 constant. What about watt meter reading? Watt meter reading equals to constant losses plus no load shader copper losses. These constant losses are constant here. What about no load shader copper losses? These are increasing. So obviously, watt meter reading will increase. That's it. Now tell me what about TST proportional to you know formula V square by F cube. T max proportional to V square by F square. Okay. So since here voltage is constant, voltage is constant, and here also voltage is constant. Okay. If you reduce frequency, TST will increase. If you reduce frequency, T max will increase. So these are these, these observations are very important. Please note down. Right. Now, let me ask you a simple question. So, can you please tell me, we discussed all those things, whatever this table column, all those things, we explain all those things under which case? No load condition. What is that? No load condition. Under no load condition, these are the things we explained here. Is it clear? Suppose if I ask you a question like this under loaded condition, think clearly. This is the question asked previously. Uh, for that, I'm just letting you some information here so that you can answer that question. Everybody, please on the board, right? Under loaded condition, I'm asking you, loaded condition, I'm asking you, loaded condition, whatever the thing we have taken here, what is this? V by F not equal constant. V by F not equal constant. If I take, if I take. This is under no load condition. Once again, let me repeat. This is things we explain under no load condition. No load condition. Suppose if you take a load condition. Load condition. There also if you maintain voltage constant. If you maintain frequency constant. If you reduce voltage, I'm just going very slow. Please think clearly and tell me answer. 
if frequency constant volt is reducing under no load condition you told that mechanic losses are constant but i am asking when the frequency is constant volt is reducing v by front of constant or load condition what is the situation of mechanic losses mechanic losses this is the question i am asking are you getting what i am saying a very simple question i am asking okay so what is the situation of mechanic losses under loaded i am asking not under no load i mean not not under no load condition okay no load means you said that uh, when our frequency constant sir mechanics depends on uh, a speed that is what frequency it remains constant that is okay i am asking you load condition so for this see you know one formula is there p equals you might have seen 3 into 60 by 2 pi ns into s c2 square r2 by r2 square plus sx2 whole square here generally we will operate induction motor in a low slip region means what n speed of induction motor will be nearer to synchronous speed but less than synchronous speed means slip is less than generally slip is less than 1 meter very generally i am saying uh, slip is very less generally induction motor operate under low slip region therefore i can say s x2 whole square since slip is less s x2 whole square will be very very less than r2 square so you'll get t equal to 3 into 60 by 2 pi ns into s e2 square r2 by r2 square okay so i need t proportional to we'll discuss in speed control of induction motor topic is that there a uh, voltage control technique comes under slip control technique that means t proportional to i need a uh, s slip is there e2 is there it right e2 means what e2 means what rotor in emf depends on stator emf depends on supply voltage so i can write in place of this t proportion sp square i can write what is this sp square i can write this relation is very important guys this this will come in a speed control of induction motor so for controlling speed of induction motor under load condition we are having so many methods if you go for slip control method in this slip control method voltage control method is the slip control technique voltage control method is the one that means there what we'll do if you reduce voltage we reduce voltage general why we are, why are reduce voltage no so for uh, increasing a slip if slip increases speed reduces that means for having below rated speeds for controlling the speed of induction motor below rated speeds we will increase slip by reducing voltage okay we'll reduce voltage at the time torque will uh, reduce to maintain this low torque constant what we will do slip will uh, increase that means what absolutely if a voltage is reducing slip is increasing that means what will happen to speed speed will reduce speed reduces means what will happen to mechanic losses which depends on speed also will reduce so that implies mechanic loss will reduce so please try to have this small observation so we frequency constant frequency constant voltage reducing voltage reducing but this is under no load this is under loaded under no load mechanic loss is constant under loaded if you reduce voltage to maintain this load torque constant slip is increases speed will reduce mechanic loss will reduce this i want to see okay so this cp please try to remember and you please try to see one question in your classroom workbook question number 29 question number 29 in your classroom workbook what is that question under no load condition See guys, underline that word no load condition. Please underline that word no load condition. Under no load condition means where you have to see here or this. You have to see here. Our question is here. Our question is here. Under no load condition. What he is doing? Under no load condition. Underline that word no load condition. 
if the applied voltage of an induction motor is reduced from the rated voltage to half of the rated voltage that means you know already we are reducing voltage no okay so we are reducing voltage from rated voltage to i, I told you in your notes so we are reducing voltage from uh, rated voltage to v minimum like the g reduced voltage from v rated to half of the rated voltage reduced okay that means question is under roller condition question that two here are here this one and this one question this one how can you conclude he said that he is reducing voltage see what is reducing you see here what is constant so question is here lower condition the two question is here here okay now what is asking <laughs> the speed and the stator current what will happen he is asking what is the variation of your speed and the stator current tell me answer please very simple question i am asking so it is there here only it is there he is asking speed and he is asking speed and current speed and current tell me if voltage is reduced see d whether he has given any information regarding frequency no that means take frequency as constant because he is reducing voltage so please take frequency constant frequency constant voltage reduced okay at the time frequency constant so what will happen to speed also constant some people will be having doubt sir you told na if uh, suppose if you do frequency if you reduce voltage if you reduce voltage do frequency constant you said here speed is reduced this is the case where this is the case uh, under loaded what question is under no load no load condition under no load if you maintain frequency constant if you reduce voltage so frequency constant your speed remains a constant that's the reason why i taken mechanical as constant here and what about current stator current stator current nothing but i mu current taken by the stator under a uh, uh, no load condition nothing but i mu so obviously i can say that what here reduce so what is your answer speed should be across i mean there is negligible change in the speed should be there that the speed should be speed should be approximately constant and the stator current has to reduce so what is the right option you please try to see option d there is negligible change in speed but the stator current decreases negligible change in speed almost a constant and there is decrease in the stator current so what is the option option d is the answer so please here question number 29 Question number twenty-nine, which was asked in gate two thousand five. Question number twenty-nine, gate two thousand five. So option D is the answer. Please, so many people will be confusing. So everybody, they will say that sir, frequent voltage reduced, frequency constant, current reduces. Okay, sir. But some people will go for option. Uh, regarding speed they they will go for option speed is reduced no this is under loaded under no load frequency be maintain constant there is almost all negligible change in speed almost of speed constant that's why mechanical are taken constant here so answer stator current reduces and there is negligible change in the suppose same question if they ask under a load condition then you can go for option if you reduce voltage by keeping frequency constant so obviously speed will reduce there is no doubt but i am question is under a no load so option d is the answer okay this is no doubt 